Chinese people have just changed their political movement's nature in a profound way. Their British National Party members, anti-immigration, far-right and up until now, exclusively white. But in a vote on Sunday, they decided it was time to let in other ethnic groups. The vote in the end was massive, a massive acceptance that we should, um, that we should accept um, the changes. I voted in favour, yeah, it was a, a really good meeting. I think there, were, well, there was no opposition at all. We have to continue. They didn't actually have much choice, though. Last year, the European Equality and Human Rights Commission told the BNP its constitution broke the Race Relations Act by restricting its membership to indigenous Caucasians. By January's end, the party hadn't changed anything. It was given 14 days to scrap the whites-only policy or face a court injunction. So now this vote and the decision to let black and Asian people in. The party's leader described the move in military terms. In a way, it's a tactical retreat. Uh, all good armies are prepared to carry out a tactical retreat. Um, it's a very dangerous moment because when you start retreating, it can turn into a rout. But today hasn't been a rout. We had, what, 300 and something people here, uh, really our core membership, and only five of them voted against. I respect them for standing up and making that point, but really this is a unified party, so we step back uh, and we live to fight another day. The party has found it hard to throw off its reputation for racism and thuggery. This is a reporter for the British newspaper The Times. The BNP don't like how it portrays them and he's violently thrown out. So who might the BNP's new members be? It would be a Trojan horse. I mean, I, I've spoken to a lot of people about this, people of African, Caribbean, Asian and Chinese background. And some have said maybe the thing to do is to join the BNP. But I don't think they'll be fooled because when you enter an organisation by stealth to destroy it from within, they can't see you coming. And if you look like me, the BNP can see you coming a mile away. Britain's imperial history means that for 60 years at least, it's been an increasingly multicultural place. Far-right political parties have long been the refuge for people unwilling to accept that. But now this European ruling means that the British National Party's future can't be exclusively white. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, London.